Baked Chicken Thighs These days, boneless, skinless chicken breasts appear to receive all the attention. I got it. They cook quickly, are affordable, and are healthful. But allow me to argue in favor of chicken thighs with the bone in and skin on. They are, in my honest view, superior in every way. The cause? Extra fat. We are all aware that taste equals fat. Furthermore, is there anything tastier than chicken skin that is crispy? Follow the advice listed below for consistently juicy, tender chicken thighs. Let them air dry. This straightforward action has a massive impact. The cause? When baking, moisture produces steam, which results in flabby, pale skin as opposed to crispy golden skin. Use a paper towel to swab the thighs on each side. If you can, use bone-in, skin-on meat. Although dealing with bone-in chicken can occasionally be intimidating, we assure you that the extra taste and potential for golden brown crispiness from the skin make the effort worthwhile. Stir-fries, sandwiches, and stews benefit greatly from using boneless, skinless thighs. Cook them until they are crispy. We can all agree that the crispy skin of a roasted chicken is its greatest feature. The thighs should be placed on the pan skin side up and over the potatoes so that there is space around each thigh for air to flow. Pieces that are too near to one another will produce the unpleasant steam we previously stated, which will thwart your efforts to get crispy skin. Don't be afraid to season. Chicken thighs are best served with a lot of seasoning, like any meat. Remember, you're not just seasoning the exterior, season both sides with salt. The salt will penetrate the meat as it cooks and flavor every piece completely. Also not to mention the twee baked potatoes below them. Bonus, salt enhances moisture retention in the meat, resulting in plumper, more luscious thighs. Win slash win. Plan to use around one teaspoon of salt for every pound of meat you have. The remaining seasonings are entirely up to you after that. Adopt it as your own. This recipe serves as a guide for creating your own delicious chicken thigh dish. Change up the citrus and herbs, add your favorite dry spices, or, if you want, pack it full with garlic, shallots, or onions. Looking for a sauce to accompany your meal? Chimichurri is frequently associated with the steak, but it also goes well with chicken. We could go on and on about pesto, tzatziki, homemade barbecue sauce, etc. If there are any leftovers, we advise shredding them and preparing the finest chicken salad ever. Put it in the refrigerator for up to five days in an airtight container until you're ready to do that. Take a picture, share it here, and let us know what you think, whatever you create it. Ingredients 3 pounds, 6 to 8, chicken thighs with the skin and bone in. Halal salt. Black pepper, freshly ground. One stick of room temperature, unsalted butter, half a cup. Five minced garlic cloves. One lemon zest. Fresh thyme leaves, one tablespoon. Round lemons from one lemon. One pound, quartered young potatoes. Freshly chopped parsley, one tablespoon, for garnish. Directions. The oven to 425 degrees. Using a paper towel to pat the chicken thighs dry, season with salt and pepper all over. Stir together the butter, garlic, lemon zest, and thyme in a medium bowl. Butter mixture should be applied evenly to the chicken thighs, including the skin. In a 9 inches by 13 inches baking dish, combine chicken thighs, potatoes, and lemon rounds. Bake for 35 minutes, or until the chicken thighs read 160 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant read thermometer. Broil the skin on high for 1 to 2 minutes, or until golden if you want it crisper.